Well, good afternoon, everybody. What have I got myself into? This morning I was on Marketplace looking for a stainless steel tub to do my vegetables, wash my vegetables in the yard and the likes of that. And uh, I spotted this here out at Tamuka. So I gave him a call. I met some lovely people from uh, Reefton. They used to own the hotel in Reefton. And now I've got this uh, mobility scooter. Let's test it out. I've come across into the botanical gardens here and I've had the battery on charge. It's uh, fully charged. Hello, I'm up on three wheels here. It corners well, stops quick. Reverse is quick. This is a mobility scooter called a Pride Celebrity XL. I've done a couple of YouTubes on it to uh, see what other people think. They said the electronics are good, good strong uh, control unit with variable speeds. Rabbit in here. Steps here, I've got to watch out for steps. The longevity of the battery depends on how new it is and how frequently you keep it fully charged. I think like every other battery, if you have it uh, empty and just sitting in the shed they pack up pretty quick. But they're tubeless tyres, grey and uh, therefore you don't get a puncture when you're out and about doing this sort of thing. And it comes apart easy as well to uh, put into a car, it breaks down into five parts. On the back here I've got um, a bag for groceries or the fox terrier and on the front there there's another little bag there for your uh, drinks and cool drinks and the like now how do i get off this shelf here let's try it over the bank yeah it'll go off the edge pretty easy and we'll try now for longevity what other things about this it's got hazard lights if you're in trouble you can put that on the seat that I'm sitting on is very comfortable. It's got a lumbar support twist there that you can squeeze it out and help your back. It also can take 160 kgs body weight on here. So uh, therefore a human and a dog could get on here and go for a ride. The other thing about the seat, it twists to the left and the right and that allows you to get off and on. And those arms on the side of the chair there they uh, come up and adjustable for your right height left up or down just slightly so an old bloke had this before me and he's gone off to heaven he doesn't need it anymore so it was sitting in the shed sat for two years and it was on marketplace today hello there's a light out down there a tail light those tyres are in good nick, they haven't done much work. And there are safety wheels here to stop it rearing up if it comes over. I see a, a mat's missing there, but I'll put a bit of um, tape on that. That'll suck that here. Yeah. I don't know what this is yet, I haven't, I haven't had a play with that. But this is called the tiller, and that can come backwards and forwards, like so. The controls are very simple. Rabbit in here, I've only ever had it on flat out. There's an emergency fast or slow on that switch there. Key start, horn, not up to much. We've got two rear view mirrors. Here's the basket here. I've already been down to uh, the, pharmacy, uh, the chemist in Cannon Street and that's about a kilometre there and a kilometre back and it runs good see these cheers arms here you can adjust them 
where you want them there or there or there or there and it's got a safety flag also and I can put my walking stick and umbrella in here if I wanted one this is a tilt for the uh, seat forward and back and she's got towing capacity too I understand I don't know what I'm going to do there oh in under the seat there's a towing hitch there that's what I'm talking about so you take this off and you can put a trailer on Keep the momentum up, you're right, aren't you? It's a lovely little park, this. No ducklings around yet. In here we've got the aviary and the botanical gardens. And this is tr Trevor here. It says, please do not put your fingers through the wires or feed the birds. Now, I came at this cage from this angle, so I didn't see that sign. And Trevor got up on here. He will, come on, come on, come on. Anyway, he puts his head up for a scratch. He likes that sort of thing. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Get up on here, up on here. Up you come, come on. Coggy, get up on here. He sets a trap for you this far. He's clever. So he puts his head right up real close to you, so you're just touching feathers through the cage there. Hello, Trevor. Hello. How are you? What's your name? Anyway, what's your name? Anyway, I got scratching him on the head there, and then all of a sudden, he turned enemy, and he latched onto the end of my finger. Can you see that white scar there when I, when I put that up like that? See that white scar on there? That's his beak, right into that finger. Oh, it hurt. He got me good. Right, back to our task at hand. A review on this scooter. See, the tyres are safe, they, you won't get a puncture with that. This is where you put your umbrella, or your cane, or probably your cab. <laughs> it's a Celebrity XL Deluxe. That means it's top of the line. Some of the others have only got one wheel on the front. I think that's the X. One wheel would be less stable than this one. Let's head towards the big hill and see how she handles that. Big hill pulls up out of the gully there. It's all on tar seal, so it may be easy enough. Let's see how she does. The pace is certainly slow coming up the hill. But it's able to do it all right. Well, I think that was at its maximum ability. This is quite a steep pull up to the top here. It done it all right, but uh, the battery indicator was in the red for a long period of time. So we won't do that again. Well, you'd be wondering why I bought this scooter. I wonder that myself at times. So far it's entertaining and that's enough reason isn't it? So thanks for watching, I'll take it home while it's not broken. I reckon it's a little gem and a lovely addition to the fleet.